Hey guys, um, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about leading with love, uh, which is super important in our world today because I find that oftentimes we just like hear about the like negative and like bad stuff and like there's so much that um, can happen when we just sh share and express our love towards each other. I do believe that we are connected. I am a fellow pantheist. Um, <laughs> no, I, I do think that we're all connected and um, being kind to everyone is really important um, because like everyone is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. And well, if you're an oasis for people uh, while setting wise boundaries, I think that uh, not only is that good for you, but it's also a positive for those around you. Um, key point there is to set wise boundaries because like, um, okay, um, <laughs> just ignore the little beep. Uh, key point there is to set wise boundaries. Um, and, and that's important because like we can't pour from an empty cup, right? So if like you're you're like okay like i really care about everybody like i'm gonna love everybody and like and then like you're doing so in a sacrificial way and i, I just i don't think that's effective so i really think that um you know really being an oasis for others um but making sure that you're putting yourself first as well because you know you can't give what you don't have and, and people can only give you what they have so like oftentimes like i have found that um like hurt people hurt people and uh you know like we can't expect others you know to treat us the same way that we treat them because they're not us you know like <laughs> and um and like i said people can only give you uh what they have to give and um and you can only give others like what you have to give you know like you're, we're all growing um we're all in this journey um and you know what one le one individual attained from a lesson maybe i haven't attained yet because i haven't had that lesson um yeah but i i do think that you know making sure that we're assuming the best as opposed to you know the worst in people is important um because Oftentimes, like, people's intent isn't necessarily, like, the negative impact that something might have. So I, I, do, I do think that uh, when we go into a situation with that perspective, it, it kind of shifts the dynamic a little bit instead of, um, you know, assuming that someone did something out of malintent and whatnot. Um, I also read this in, I think it was maybe like the subtle art of not giving a, a freak or um like one of mark mason's books um and he mentioned uh to treat people as ends um and not as means to an end so like that means like if you're going to give someone a gift or if you're doing something for someone like treating that as like an end like you did it because you wanted to you, you shared that um and, and not necessarily expecting something in return and i think that that's important um because when we start expecting like that's i think um when we are setting ourselves up for failure you know like um and like i said setting wise boundaries um with everybody around you is key because you know you can't be there for other people if you're not there for yourself um and you're not protecting yourself so um that's really important and like i said in my previous video about acceptance um like these are all things that i'm like putting out here on my channel so i can look at them again and be like all right astrid how can we get to a state of acceptance? How are we leading with love? Because like, I also need to practice these things. It's constant practice. And I think it's a lifelong journey. Um, and, you know, making sure that like 
instead of expecting something from someone, you're, you're managing those expectations. You know, like we all want to be feel heard, uh, feel seen, and and feel valued and cared for and loved. And I just find that um, like that's something that really unites us as human beings like there's nobody on this planet who's like oh no I don't want to be cared for I don't want to be loved like no like we're social beings so <laughs> um I think we all want to be happy and avoid suffering you know I think that that's just like a um a commonality between us as human beings um yeah and like I really think like it's important to kind of uh ask yourself you know like how am I being an instrument of joy, love, forgiveness, faith, hope, you know, uh, am I being a light or, you know, am I, or am I not doing these things? And like, how can I shift that? You know, like, um, cause like I said, it's a practice and it's a lifelong journey. So I think it's important to kind of cultivate that practice. Um, I also read this book, uh, it's quite common and popular book, like uh, the Five Love Languages book. I also got it from my parents and uh, my mentor and I was like, it's such a good book. Um, and it talks about, you know, like your five love languages, whether it's like touch, like quality time, um, acts of service, and uh, what are the other two? Um, words of affirmation and um, wow I'm out here forgetting so it's touch acts of service words of affirmation quality time Oh, and gift giving and I I think that um, it was a really interesting book to read because it, it kind of paints the picture of like we all want to be cared for and we all want to be loved but how we're cared for and how we receive that love and how we express that love is different and um, we all need like our battery to be charged up right so um, like how I like you know to receive love is like quality time you know I enjoy spending time with people that I care about and um and I've noticed like sometimes when plans fall through like I'm a little fussy and I'm like oh like you know because I wanted to hang out and like it's important to me to you know like value my time and spend time with people that I care about I've also had to learn you know like um sometimes things happen and plans, you know, fall through, uh, but it's always, you know, important to communicate with kindness and, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so for someone who maybe like loves like gift, receiving gifts, like that's a different, um, type of way of both expressing love and accepting that love. So it's a really cool read. Um, if you want to check that out, I think, uh, reading it, um, made me realize in and uh you know like how can I improve um in expressing my love to other people because I think this world needs more love um oftentimes we just can focus on like the negative and we like I said we're all connected so if we are being loving towards others and love other people like I do believe that that love comes back to us it may not come back to us from that person itself but it does come back to us eventually um but yeah if you're curious about um my other videos um i did a video about acceptance um you know in the end things will be what they will be and we have to let things organically fall into place and you know appreciate people and, and accept things without necessarily attaching ourselves to them um and you know like that can be challenging but like I said it's a lifelong journey and a practice uh, to continue uh, in this life <laughs> um, but if you want to check that out that's my other video I'll link it below um, and I kind of just want to end with um, with the more you care about yourself and you know um, 
love yourself like the more you can also kind of express that love to other people and extend that to other people I think that you know like I said hurt people hurt people and I, I mean that you know like when we have been hurt um maybe we have hurt other people and same thing maybe someone was hurt and they hurt us and um and that oftentimes happens when we don't necessarily know ourselves and I do think that knowing ourselves is like like the process like we're still learning who we are because we're constantly growing and changing um but I think that you know part it's kind of like this duality this uh part of loving yourself um is also you know allowing yourself to be vulnerable and and care about someone else and have them also care for you like I said we're social beings and we um want to feel that connection and you know it, it's we all deserve to feel that connection you know um and I do think that leading with kindness and leading with love is really important so I encourage you guys to do so this week um you know as you cultivate your lifelong journey